Hello, YouTube friends. It's me, referred to as Jay, calling from my husband's channel, Rocket Rick J18. Today, I would like to talk about gift giving and gift buying for your collector person. I am not a collector person, um, but I have divided uh, the recipients of Christmas gifts, especially, into three categories. Um, category A, first of all, I wrote this backwards, so cool beans. Um, anyway, Category A gift recipi recipient appreciates your creativity and delights in the surprise that you provide them with your well-thought-out gift. It notices that you were secretly paying attention to what they like and that you went and bought something that would go with their likes and their interests. This is a this is a fun person to buy for. It's a little harder to buy for this person because you have to be paying attention and you have to try to come up with something that's going to really surprise them. I like to do this with Rick, but he's really not in this category. Rick, my collector person, is in category B. Category B is the collector. The collector is a collector of sports memorabilia, baseball cards, stamps, coins, whatever you can come up with. Another group that falls into category B are engaged bra with a gift registry. These people uh, only want what's on the list. They'll give you a list. They'll give you a very specific list, a list that you can refer to and that it would be best if you pick out the things, maybe even in the order that they're stated. Um, so these people don't like surprises. They are very appreciative of your gift. They do love your gift but they don't want anything that they didn't ask for. So if you want to give them something that they really love, look at the list. Okay. Now I have a little, a little shout out here um, because I've always gotten from Rick and uh, usually they're really extensive. Lots of little numbers, lots of little, you know, oh my goodness, different companies, different years, different numbers. Okay. Back, way back in the day, before the internet, I would contact Kit Young, and I'm we're not sponsored by Kit Young, but I have to say I met this man, nice guy. But back in the day, I actually no internet shopping. I actually would send him the list and tell him what my budget was, and go through and pick out stuff that would fit my budget and then charge me. And then we would do it that way. And I would say, Oh, well, Rick doesn't need, you know, mint or X mint or, you know, there, and there were no, I don't think there were any slabs back then. Didn't even know about that kind of thing. But anyway, this very nice company, I'm sure it wasn't all just kit young, but, uh, his workers, uh, would help me out and I would come up with a good gift for Christmas or maybe for Rick's birthday. So, uh, I don't know how to leave a link at the end of the video yet. So here you go. Here's the link. Okay. Now there is one more category for recipients of gifts that you should know about. And that is category C category C is your mom. Okay. Your mom. She likes anything, no matter what, no matter what you get her, she's going to like it. It's a really small category. So, uh, if you, if you still have your mom, show her some love, see what, see if she's a collector or see if she's like the category A person, uh, just, you know, want something that goes with her or she might just love if you gave her like a pair of socks, she'd probably go, Oh, these are the best socks I ever, ever got. So there you go. There's the categories of recipients. Have a wonderful time shopping for your people on your list and buy, buy from 
referred to as J. See ya. Bye.